Many years ago, there was a new coach in town, a school teacher by the name of Ichabod Crane, who was listening to stories told by Dutch wives. Many years ago, many years ago, a soldier who was a mercenary during the Revolution War was scouting the, I mean, the battlefield, so it was still in uncharted territory. That he had his head shot off by a black iron cannonball. Never found the soldier's head. Now at this day, the ghost of the soldier. So roams the countryside in search of his lost head. Head. That is the ghost of the headless horseman that roams the countryside. <laughs> Ichabod Crane walked home that night, a little worried. His little nurse about the headless horseman. Somehow he could see him in trees. Then many days later, Ichabod Crane was, was asked to teach Katrina, the daughter of the squire, her the art of singing. Sing. Ichabod Crane liked like Katrina. I think she liked him. Katrina had many boyfriends. Unfortunately, she, one of her boyfriends was a was, was a man named Brom Bones. Ichabod Crane and Brom Bones were alike in different many ways. Brom Bones could not read or write, but but Ichabod could. But could Brom Bones could ride a horse very well, but Ichabod was just learning. Brom Bones was making up many stories, but Ichabod was very shy. Of course, they had some, some squabbles and some issues, but it was hard. Heard. Ichabod Crane had an advantage, though. He would see Katrina regularly when he gave her singing lessons and taught her. It was a little later when Ichabod Crane was invited to a party. Ichabod Crane ran home, listened to the story, fixed his hair, hair and he had a dignified ride. from an old working horse named Gunpowder. He had no other choice, so he rode the beast of burden down to where he to the party. And then he danced and spoke with Katrina. It was really amazing. Brom Bones just sat there on a bench, pouting with the loss of his love. Later, later, Brom knew he would have his chance. Because, as later, Squire Van Tassel would, would ask people to tell ghostly stories of Halloween. And Brom knew there was no believer in spooks and goblins. The Ichabod Crane. And he told well, the story of what happened. I raced a headless sword over a glass of punch. I down to the old church bridge, and then the ghost burst up flames. The news broke up the party early. So Ichabod walked home alone that night. Started near Wiley Swamp, but he looked gunpowder stopped cold. He would not move even with a hard whack of the switch. Then he saw what looked like another rider riding a black horse. If I crave rep for his life, the rider was riding a black horse. The rider or seemed to be dressed in uniform, and on his saddle he carried his head. If I crave ran across the, bur the church bridge with all of his might, the headless horseman threw his head again at him. Mm. Mm. Ichabod Crane was later missing from Sleepy Hollow. Next to the, the bridge, Ichabod's hat was found. Close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. There was no trace of the schoolmaster. It wasn't long after Ichabod Crane and Katrina were soon married. It was really amazing. All of them were choice. Never anyone mentioned the story of the headless with er and Brom Bones just laughed out loud. And everything was back to normal. Until one night, Brom Bones met the real headless horseman.